For years, Australian beer drinkers have been putting the big name, big brand beers at the top of their shopping list. But that's all about to change as the craft beer surge hits new heights. Today, we're on the hunt for a truly local, fresh, unique flavour that the big boys just can't deliver. That brings me to beer lovers heaven, right here in Palmyra, 20 minutes south of Perth, the home of WA's leading craft brewer, Gage Rhodes. Well, Stu, welcome to Gage Rhodes. Thanks for having me. This is our brewery. We've been brewing beer here for about 15 years now. Uh, back in 2004, we converted an old margarine factory into the brewery that you see here today. Well, look, it's a huge operation. I'm really interested to know how all of this beer gets in these tanks. Well, that's a good question, so let's go find out. Beautiful. So how many beers do you actually brew here? We've got about six main beers that we brew in the Gage Roads range, um, and it all starts with four main ingredients. Purified water, barley malt, hops, and yeast. Fantastic, and what do we have down here? We've got some uh, malt uh, to show you. So it all starts with this base malt. This is uh, the base malt that we use in all of our beers, and this is where we get our main extract source from to ferment and turn into alcohol and carbon dioxide. Mm -hmm. If we just brewed beer out of this, we would get a really nice, crisp lager beer. Okay. Uh, but in craft brewing, we also want to add these types of malts which have been stewed or kilned at higher temperatures, which have a lot more flavour. In this type of malt here, we've got a crystal malt. We're getting lots of caramelised flavours, toffee, biscuit, roasty kind of flavours coming Beautiful. through. That's what we might use in something like a pale ale. Wow. If we want to start brewing darker beers, more um, things like stouts or dark ales, we start to add more of this roasted style malts. Nice. Very similar process to roasting coffee beans, mm. in which we kiln at higher temperatures and it adds a sort of a bitterness to it, a bit of a, a roasty sort of uh, acrid kind of flavours to the beer as well. And what about these guys here? This is some of my favourite ingredients down here. Yeah, so hops add a bitterness and aroma to beer. Um, in craft brewing, we're really interested in the aroma and if you smell that, Oh wow. There's, there's an amazing amount of essential oils that are in these hops. And in craft beer, that's what we're really interested in. We add these really late in the process, what we call dry hopping and late in the kettle. And that allows lots of these essential oils to end up infusing in the beer. And that's where we get some of those magnificent um, fruity type um, uh, pineapple, 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 yeah. pineapple kind of aromas. Beautiful. So as the Gage Roads craft beer god, what are you drinking right now? <laughs> There are probably uh, two main beers in our range that I'm drinking, uh, the Single Fin and the uh, Little Dove. Um, single Fin's probably a beer I'd be enjoying if I was on the back of a boat or out in the sunshine. It's a summer ale, um, it's a lighter type of beer style, it has a much cleaner, crisper finish to it, but it still has a lot of those tropical fruit style uh, aromas that we enjoy in craft beer. On the other hand, Little Dove, as we get into some of the cooler temperatures, it has a bit more of a malt backbone to it, lots more flavour going on. It's higher in alcohol as well, at 6.2%. So uh, it's uh, my favourite when it gets a bit cooler. And it's got a few more of these bad boys in it as well. It's these got a hops. lot of hops in it, yeah. a lot of hops. Beautiful. Now, on to the name. I don't think there's a more fitting one that fits our coastal home and lifestyle. The guys here are creating truly local, independent, proudly West Aussie beers and ciders that are really shaking up the big guys, and rightly so. It must be testament to our great West Australian produce. Here you go, Stu. As fresh as it gets, straight from the barrel. Thanks, Aaron. Cheers. Cheers. 